Hi there, Virgo. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo for the week of the 15th. This one doesn't resonate so much. Go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We're looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every sign for an entire month. And if you'd like your own private reading, you can find that in the description box. I'm doing three questions for $30. So let's look at the overall energy here. The thing that catches my eye right away is the tower, Scorpio energy, and it's the dumpster fire card. Uh, this is the millennial tarot, because um, someone's going to ask me that question. I think you may have had a very like explosive ending with someone, or you feel like you're at a crossroads with the, the tower showing up, like... We can't go on as we were before. I don't know where we're going here. We've got the Five of Cups, which is regrets about the past. It's called the Ick in this deck. It's looking at what I should have done or if I should have said this or maybe I shouldn't have done that. We have the Two of Swords or the Two of Thoughts. To be honest, I don't know. Maybe you're trying to make up your mind here what you should do. Um... I honestly don't know what this person did, but it feels pretty intense. We'll we'll look into it when we look in their energy in a second. And then we've got the Four of Cups. I like how it's binge watching here. Four of Cups is like, I really don't know what to do. I'm kind of pulled back. I'm, you know, just taking a minute here to figure out what I want to do. I'm kind of up in my my feelings. I'm not sure which direction to choose or what offer to accept. And again, even like with the signpost there, I think you just don't know what to do about this all the way. All right. Uh, let's take a look at your person. Okay. So we've got the seven of wands here, the seven of vibes. Sorry, not sorry. This can be someone who is standoffish. In this particular deck, this is like someone who doesn't take responsibility for their actions. So what is going on here? Hmm. And I don't like this even more. We've got the five of wands. Hold on. So in this deck, it's called the five of vibes, the frenemies card. It can feel like someone is stabbing you in the back. They like be nice to your face and then behind your back, they're doing some things that are not so great. So there could have been a betrayal going on here. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Oh no. Okay. So we have the F boy showing up. Um, not great. This is, it's the devil. It's Capricorn energy. It's someone, uh, maybe you can't trust. Maybe this person even betrayed you. Maybe even with like someone you thought was your friend. This is almost feeling like it's someone's personal reading. That's kind of what it feels like. The other one that popped up is can't even the 10 of swords or the 10 of, and that's a betrayal card. So the T here is kind of hot. I almost feel like this person, there was a betrayal. This feels like a dumpster fire. They may have done something that like it's, you can't, you can't get past it. You can't get over it, but Maybe there's like a karmic connection here with the, the F-boy or the devil showing up. Hold on, let me arrange these. Like, I don't know, this might even be like a toxic relationship. I feel like this is more about you than the person, but we've got the 10 of... 
vibe showing up here. That's the Ten of Wands, burnt out. And then we have the Eight of Wands, literally obsessed. Hold on. These are really big cards. So that burnout, Ten of Wands, I don't, like, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Then we have this Eight of Wands, literally obsessed. I almost feel like this relationship started really fast. And this is just like an intuitive hit, but did this person like love bomb you? I just, I think the term dumpster fire is right. That's what this feels like. All right, let's see what else comes out. For some, like, for somebody here, this is a personal reading almost. I feel like this person betrayed you, that they kind of stabbed you in the back. And... I don't know that you literally want to get back with them, but it's more like, I don't know. You're like, where, where do I go from here? What the hell is going on here? All right. We've got the queen of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. This person could be a fire sign or just look at all the fire that's on the table. Like it's very passionate, um, very charming. Maybe there was, you know, a very sexy vibe going on here. You could have some fire in your chart. Or they perceive you as this queen of wands. Okay. We got the sun in reverse. Leo energy. This is like someone who keeps you in the dark. Who doesn't tell you what you need to know. Um, it can also be someone who's depressed. Depressed. Three of swords. Sadness. So there is some feeling here. But I don't know. I'm I'm getting like karmic vibes from this relationship or that maybe this isn't such a great idea. It could have burned like really hot and fast. Sometimes that eight of swords. Oh boy. And we've got the fool in reverse. Aries energy. Lots of Aries here. Um, the fool in reverse is someone acting like a fool. Someone who is being very foolish, um, who tries to make a fool out of you, or someone who's afraid, like a great big fraidy cat. Oops. All right. We got the Page of Swords. Now, Page of Swords and the Devil card showing up, that Eight of Wands. This could be someone who obsesses about you. Someone who maybe, like, whenever you try to walk away, they kind of bring you back. Oof. I think this is a, a rough one. Maybe they're upset because you've pulled back your energy and you're not kind of playing with it. We've got the Knight of Wands in reverse. That's Sagittarius energy, but it can also be Leo and Aries. Knight of Wands in reverse is, is an F-boy. Someone who is... Not the, not the greatest, not the best. So I would be really cautious with this person. Hold on. Yeah, the tower. Um, like Danger Will Robinson. That's, that's what this is giving off. I, I don't know that this is a good thing. I would be really cautious here. Um, I don't think that this person is done with you. In fact, I do think they're obsessing about you quite a bit. But... I don't know if their intentions are the greatest. So th yeah, this really is a dumpster fire. All right. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let's do a card for how they feel about you. Why not? So how do they feel about you? Hmm. Got the death card in reverse. Scorpio energy. This can be someone who's really stubborn. Hold on. So it can be someone who is resisting changing or they're they're trying to stick with like old habits or old patterns. It's not the healthiest energy. Um, I, I think that they obsess about you. I think that they want you back, but I don't know that their intentions are that great. So I would just be a little careful here. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, click the join button down below. We're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, the unknown, 
And um, if you would like your own private reading, you can find that in the description box. All right, blessed be and take care of yourself.